In today's video, I'm going to be explaining to you and showing you how to adjust spring loaded door hinges. Spring loaded door hinges, or better known as self closing hinges. You may or may not be familiar with these. These types of hinges are used in a variety of different locations generally in residential construction. You may see this hinge on a garage door, on a furnace room door, or sometimes on a door separating two units in a duplex or a triplex. Self-closing hinges are noticeably different than the standard type of hinge you'll see in residential construction. An easy way to identify is the center portion between each side of the hinge does not have a pin that can remove out of it to separate the hinge. It's one solid unit. Inside of the packaging for your hinge, you'll generally have a long bar, an Allen key, and a shorter bar. You'll also get the standard screws to mount the hinge into the jam and the door. Let's go back Take a look at the door that I have these self-closing hinges installed on. I'll show you how they work and I'll show you how to adjust them. Now that we're looking back at the door, you can see how these hinges work. For this specific door, it has three self-closing hinges on the top, middle, and bottom. So the way it works is when the door is open, the tension on each hinge will pull the door closed once you let go of it. Now that we're taking a closer look at the hinge installed, you can see that smaller pin that I showed earlier is inserted right now into the hinge. To remove it, go insert the Allen key, push to the left, and you can pull the pin back out. Now that you have the pin removed, this hinge has no tension on it, which means it won't close under its own force. To reinstall the pin and increase tension on the door, You'll use the small pin again and the Allen key. When you install it back to the top, there's small holes here. So I have mine set on the fourth hole. The pin holds itself and increases the tension. And now when you open and allow the door to close, the tension will push the door shut under its own force. The larger rod that comes with the self-closing hinges is used to Hold your position if you need to increase tension on the short hinge. If the Allen key is too close to the wall, depending on the area that the door is installed in, you can use the pin to hold it when you move the Allen key out and you reposition to allow you to increase the tension. This has been a brief tutorial on how self-closing hinges work and how to adjust the tension on them. If you found this content useful, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.